Chapter 31, Servicing Air Brake Systems, Day 1, Video 7, Valves to be Tested. <clears throat> so here's a quick list of all the valves, the different tests that will include these valves um, to be tested when we do a systematic um, evaluation of the, the braking system. Uh, quick release valves, we need to make sure that those are in fact releasing the air as they should and not leaking when they should be holding the air pressure. Uh, brake or the foot application, brake application valve, uh, that we don't have air leaks there, uh, that uh, the system is working properly and those, those pistons are moving as they need. They've got springs and seals and stuff in there that can start to wear and either leak air or cause sticking of the, those pistons to happen. Uh, relay valves, uh, making sure again that those are uh, receiving the signal and they are in fact opening and closing um, depending on the uh, brake application and then exhausting only through the exhaust port. Um, the park brake, uh, the, um, the push pull, uh, there's a, a test for that to make sure that that's that's another high attrition rate there of the uh, the valve. So again, listening for air leaks and the exhaust and all that. Um, an inversion valve that uh, starts to operate the uh, spring brakes when we start losing um, service brake pressure. So there's a test in the systematic test that we'll do that will test that inversion valve. Anti-compounding valve and uh, the uh, with the quick release. Um, so anti-compounding valve does not allow the service brake and the park brake to um, add too much. So if we've got the park brake applied and we make a service brake application, uh, we will be compounding the brakes on that wheel end. Uh, so the anti-compounding valve allows for that. There's a real easy test for that too, checking the pressures, making sure that anti-compounding valve is working. Trailer supply, brake control valve, or the handbrake uh, for the uh, trailer valves. Make sure all those are operating properly along with that tractor protection valve. So we've got some tests that that, um, that go along and make sure those, those valves are all working properly.